In this video, we'll find the number of atoms in CONH22. This is urea. So this is what the structure of urea looks like. You can see we have these NH2 groups here. We have two of them. That's what is right here. This is our carbon and our oxygen is right here. So for urea, the first thing we want to do is we want to write down each element. So we have a carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, and then we have hydrogen. Those are the elements in urea. For carbon, nothing's written, so we assume the subscript's gonna be one. So we have one carbon atom, same for oxygen, put a one there. For the nitrogen, nothing written, so we assume it to be one, but this two here, this goes to the whole thing here, everything in parentheses. So two times one, two nitrogen atoms, two times two, we have four hydrogen atoms. So we have a total of eight atoms in urea. Sometimes you might be asked to find the number of carbon atoms in one mole of urea. So to do that, we know we have one carbon atom. We multiply one times Avogadro's number, and that gives us the number of atoms in one mole of urea. Same for oxygen. We have one oxygen atom, multiply it by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd Avogadro's number. That tells us how many oxygen atoms we have in one mole. For nitrogen, we would multiply it by two, since we have two oxygen atoms. And then finally, for hydrogen, we'd multiply four times Avogadro's number, and that would give us the number of hydrogen atoms in one mole of urea. This is Dr. B with the number of atoms in CONH22, urea. Thanks for watching.